All right, this is the final stretch. Alvin, perfect timing. You two are coming with me. Good day, sir. Huh? Oh, you're that Riza Maxian reporter. Something I can help you with? Actually... You're writing an article about what I think of Riza Maxia? Does that bother you? It's not that I mind so much as, well, what's in it for me? Huh? He wants a little something-something. Spoken like a true Olympian. Hey, people will be talking about this, right? Why should I play the ugly face of Olympian intolerance for Jack Squat? Pay up or I shut up. Uh... I'm not trying to be a hard ass here. It's just the way of the world. Okay, fine. If we're talking money, that might be a problem for me. But what if I came in here and cleaned? Day in and day out. Huh? I mean, I'll still have to worry about my day job, but I can come clean mornings and nights. And I have customer service experience, too. I could stock shelves or even work the booths. I promise I'll stay out of your way no matter what you have me do. So say yes, will you? Pretty please? Hmm. If it really means that much to you, fine. Go ahead and write whatever you want. Thank you so much! Besides, I wouldn't mind hearing what Riza Maxians think of Olympias. And don't worry about doing any cleaning or nothing. Seems like people do work for free sometimes. Well, I'm not gonna make a habit of it. It's just, this really was starting to make me look like a villain. I'll bring you a draft of the story before it goes to print. Got it. Make it a good one. He even seemed legitimately interested in the perspective of Riza Maxians. Kinda puts a lot of weight on your shoulders, huh? I suppose it does. All right, the finish line's in sight. Luger, I'm staying at your place tonight. I'll work on the article all night if I have to. Come on, that's overdoing it, even for you. I need space to concentrate. I don't even have my own desk at work. It'll be fine. You guys will be there for moral support, right? Come on, please. What do you say? Should we help her see this through? Thanks. Okay, it's copy time. I will absolutely, positively have this story on my editor's desk first thing in the morning! Sorry, Luger. Gonna need your room for a while. Don't doze off in there. Not gonna happen. I 
think Leia went to turn in her article. Yeah, I'm kind of curious myself. Let's go. She couldn't have gotten far. Did all this research? Yes. <laughs> you certainly are tenacious. This'll do. I'll run it. What? Really? Now, tell me what you learned. Well, up until now, I'd always just written my own opinions about things that I thought were interesting. But after doing all the interviews this time, I realized I had been going about this the wrong way. Our job as journalists is to present an objective and accurate perspective, and then let the readers come to their own conclusions. Objectivity and accuracy, those two elements are the key points here. I see. It sounds like you're the type of person who learns by doing. You should keep that in mind from now on. Is Leia a full-fledged journalist now? Hardly. She still lets herself get too close to the story. And she doesn't take into account the impact she has on her readers. Nevertheless, she showed good journalistic instincts with this piece. And she isn't afraid to do legwork. She has potential. Nice work. Seems your editor finally accepted you. You heard that, huh? Thanks, guys. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm not about to let up either, and I hope you'll keep helping me chase down the stories. <laughs> you got it. Luger, from now on, I'm going to pay close attention to the fractured dimensions and everything that takes place within them. And then, I'm going to make sure that I'm able to convey all of that to the rest of the world. That way, their lives will have meaning. <laughs> 